Hey, what's up, Silver Stackers? Thank you so much for being here. This is Silver Slayer. Silver prices have risen astronomically, catching people off guard. If you want to know the extent of what silver is doing, let me put things in perspective. This was written on July 28th, talking about how silver surges almost 9% in three days, knocking at $20. Well, that was the 28th. The 29th, which was the last trading day since we're into the weekend now, was up to $20.58. Another $0.58 cents even higher since the point of this article talking about it surging 9% in three days. Well, a lot of people are trying to theorize and speculate on why Silver's doing this now. Well, I think there's a very big misunderstanding of why or where people aren't looking in terms of what's really going on behind the scenes and I'm going to talk about that in this video. Now yes, Silver's rallying, we can cover a couple of articles talking about, you know, the rally to what percent and the FOMC meeting, you know, Federal Chairman Jerome Powell coming out and saying XYZ yada yada, but there's something else happening. And I've been talking about this for a very long time. But the thing is is that it doesn't happen instantaneously, which is why people can't catch it right away. I still haven't said what's really going on yet. Now, given silver prices are affected by so many things, especially nowadays, you have to incorporate speculation, stock market volatility, CPI, FOMC meeting, gold, what gold's doing, crypto, everything. But the variable that is the most important, and this is why we love precious metals, is supply and demand since it's tangible it has intrinsical value and that's why it's also called a safe haven because prices can't just move purely off speculation since there's a physical object at play that is getting dug up out of the ground not just you know made out of thin air digits on the screen well what am I talking about I'm talking about demand demand and the price there is a direct correlation, and since we know that the demand is correlated with the price, look what's happened lately. Vaults are emptied, coin and bars on allocation as ravenous demand for physical silver continues unabated. Everyone is wanting a slice of the silver pie, but there's not much pie left. Not just in the investment sector, the industrial sector as well. And demand is going to continue rising for the next 10 years and so on as we advance in this new digital technological era. But here's my point. We know that there is a direct correlation with demand and the price. If you want proof, look at this. Silver price rises and falls with investment demand. When demand is high, silver price is high. When demand is low, silver price is low. It is identical. It's identical. But here's the thing that people miss. It lags behind it a little bit. It's not going to be instantaneously so people don't look at it right then and put the, the piece of the puzzle in their head because they're saying, oh, demand's high, but the price is still low. It lags behind a little bit. You'll notice, however, there's typically a lag effect. Price movements tend to follow changes in investment demand up or down. And, you know, that's... That's normal. It's not going to happen at the exact same time. There's still other factors that do affect the price of silver. But we all know that demand moves with the price or vice versa. And if we know that the demand is going to be skyrocketing in the next 10 years, then what would the price do with it? Hmm. Skyrocket. One plus one equals two, not three. So looking at Silver definitely on a nice rally right now. I'm not saying it's just going to continue going straight up, which it shouldn't. The price needs to correct down a little bit as it goes into overbought territory. You know, it actually needs to go down for it to go up higher. If you just see it go up, 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 it's going to go down, down, down. It, it needs to build stability around $20 and then go back down to $19.50 and then go to $21.50 and then go down to $20 and then go up to $22 and then come down to $21.30 and then go up to $23. It needs to go up and down a little bit. That means it's building stability at the higher prices. If it just goes up to $25 and then, you know, with one stop and then corrects back down, which it will, it's going to go back down to $20 where it started at. It needs to build stability. 
So this is a one week chart, a one week chart. It was down to $18.40. We were talking about possibly $16 silver, and now we're headed up to $21, to $21. And as more people see precious metals in the green, see silver up ahead, they're going to start jumping on board as well. So we could see a big rally coming and all the people that were that were saying silver is a terrible investment when it was down here within a week and a half are going to be the ones jumping on the bandwagon feeling silly, but they won't admit it. They'll just kind of pretend they didn't say that and just jump on and act like everything's okay. When the true silver stackers like you and I have been sitting here telling them to buy it when they could have got it cheaper last week anyways. But that's just how it goes time and time and time again. I've been doing this since 2015 and the amount of times I've seen that happen is is unbelievable. And that's why when people start to hate on silver, I'm like, okay, just wait. In a couple of weeks or a couple of months, maybe even a couple of years, you're going to be right where I'm at telling everyone else, telling all your friends to buy silver as well. So, <laughs> but anyways, you know, it is important though to look at when you're looking at demand, supply and demand, that's fundamentals. That is the biggest influence on the price of silver. Yes, speculation is starting to have a bigger pull, even price manipulation. And, and by the way, um, J.P. Morgan's racketeering charge is about to go through. Let me let me show you guys this real quick. Ex J.P. Morgan traders racketeering trial draws to close. This is not what this video is going to talk about, but since we just talked about price manipulation and racketeering and all that, I wanted to show you guys this article. Um, but anyways, let's go back to this. So. Um, I do want to cover these two articles since they do talk about the price, but just remember a lot of these, these articles aren't going to talk about the demand rising, which also has a major effect. They're going to talk about the dollar index. They're going to talk about monetary policy. They're going to talk about, you know, GDP readings in the second quarter decrease, blah, 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 and tightening. I mean, yes, that's a reason why. Yes, people pay attention to all this, but if you're not looking at the bigger picture of this, then you're never going to understand really what's going on and the numbers aren't going to add up because you're not incorporating one of the most basic fundamental rules of investing, which is low supply, high demand shoots the price up. That's investing 101. And that's especially something that's tangible, that gets dug up out of the ground. That's how it works. Bitcoin, you could even say since it is mined, you know, out of the mining pool and mining difficulty and there's only 21 million Bitcoin that will ever be created, you know, and there's only 21 million and 19 million have been mined out of the, you know, out of the blockchain or whatever. So there's only a few left and after those are mined up, all the Bitcoin are going to be in circulation, yada, yada. You could go that way as well. When it comes to stocks and stuff like that, you can't. But regardless, with something like intrinsical value like gold and silver, Supply and demand is everything, is everything. And right now, we know that the supply is diminishing. The demand is increasing. And if you want more proof, I could go and show, you know, several other articles that are talking about how the supply isn't keeping up with the demand, and especially moving forwards, how the supply will not be able to to any degree. Right now, we can still kind of scrape on by. I mean, yes, vaults are emptied. They're taking allocations. They, you know, from back in 2020, people making, uh, you know, turning in uh, their order to physical delivery since 2020. Look at this. Perth Mint's general manager of minted products, Neil Vance, says it's silver and coins or their coins and bars have been on allocation since April 2020 and are still on allocation to our distributors today. From two years ago, they still haven't gotten their order. We've been selling every single physical silver coin and bar we can make over two years now. It's been an incredible surge in demand, and it fits in with a lot of thoughts around precious metals, which is that in times of uncertainty, people move to safe haven. Hmm. What did we just talk about with supply and demand trends and how the price is directly correlated to the demand? And they're talking about this. One plus one equals two. You can try to make it equal three, but it's not going to equal three. You can try to tell your teacher a great presentation on why one plus one could equal three or why it should equal three or that it might, but it doesn't. You got to look at the obvious 
facts in front of you. And that's what I do on my channel. I show the data. I go through articles after articles after articles after chart after chart all day long sitting at my office showing showing the data, showing the information, showing my research, making two, three videos a day showing these the, these articles and these the, the, you know these pieces of information that are that are real, right? Real numbers, real data, not not some theory that I think is might be happening and I don't do that. Um, so anyways, what, what do you think? Do you think that this is just a slight rally and that the price will correct? I mean, obviously it's going to correct a little bit, but do you think it's going to correct yet? Or do you think that we could hit 21, maybe even $22 before it corrects? And another interesting question, where do you think it's going? What do you think silver's price is going to be by the end of 2022 in December? What do you think silver's price is going to be by the end of December? Is it going to be, I, I, I could definitely see it up to like 25, maybe even the $26 range. I definitely could see that. Maybe even 27. I de that, that definitely wouldn't be crazy at all, right? It, that, that would almost be expected. Um, I'm not saying it will do that, but if it went to 27, it would just be like, an, you know, your ordinary day. Okay, you know, nothing too crazy has happened. Um, I think it'd be more crazy if it stayed, you know, around the, $20 range around 18 19 20 dollars and like you know like this article said right here you No, know, it's typically a lag effect. We've seen demand You know skyrocketing through the roof and now the lag is catching up to itself and you can see that within the price Now I'm not saying that is the sole purpose There's many other factors at play like the FOMC meeting this week and all the speculation and assumptions behind that before federal chairman Jerome Powell even came out and said anything but you got to remember the fundamentals low supply high demand pushes the price up and plus gold is rising a little bit up five dollars um, but you also got to remember silver does move with gold as well not forever but it does I'm gonna wrap this video up here if you thought this video was educational, informational, at least entertaining, make sure to hit the like button. Remember, I post daily videos every single day. You gotta stay up to date. If you want to subscribe, please do. If you want to like the video, please do. I'm going to ask you to like now. Since you've seen the video, I'm not going to ask you to like and subscribe the first 10 seconds because you don't even know if you're going to like the video yet. Why would I ask you to like a video that you haven't even watched yet? I don't like when people do that. Now that you've seen my channel, you see what I have to offer. If you want to subscribe, please do. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you don't even know if you like my channel yet. Please do if you like the content and if you want to see this type of stuff on a daily basis. I also do giveaways. I do unboxings. I do silver stacking strategies. I do it all. Thanks for tuning in. The link to this article or these articles will be in the description. This was Silver Slayer. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.